All right, before we even get started with this video, I just wanna give a little disclaimer. Um, if you're under the age of 18, this video is not for you, and I just wanna be very clear, you guys, that I am not trying to get anyone to use this site or sign up. Um, if you're under the age of 18, this is just an informational video, educational purposes only. So that's the disclaimer. If you're under 18, click out, stop watching, and just understand, like, I'm not talking about anything too explicit. I just wanna be very clear, under 18, this is not for you. Hey guys, it's your girl Sydney and I am back with another video. I have not made an OnlyFans video in so long. So if this is your first time watching me, I've made a few OnlyFans videos in the past. They're packed with information and tips about OnlyFans. We're gonna do some here today, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have a lot of other ones in case this is like something that you like. Um, with that being said, if you're someone who is a fan of mine, hi, thanks for coming back. And then if you're someone who is a model or a creator and you're looking for some tips and you're new here, hey, hi, my name's Sydney, welcome to my channel. This is my YouTube, I have all my other socials down below and I am top 0.05% on OnlyFans. So I just wanna give you guys a little disclaimer before we start. I have been doing OnlyFans for two years now. I love the platform. I definitely know that there's glitches and things that I have to work, to work out. I love the platform. And I am also on Frisk now, and I'm trying out other sites, and I mentor girls and help them out, but I mainly just try to help, if that makes sense. There are so many girls that are like always wanting my help that it's hard you know to do it so I figured hey let's make this video I have a lot of other videos that are secret if you're under my referral then you get access to those if you reach out to me and prove that you're under my referral I can look you up under it so before we keep going into this video though I wanted to just let you know how to use the OnlyFans referral because I've had some girls that have made accounts in the past and then they had to like delete their account and remake it to be under my referral because it just didn't work for them you're allowed to have two at a time so even if you have one other one, you can still have a new one. Basically what you do is you make sure you're logged out. If you have one, just make sure you're logged out of that one. Then you copy my referral link, which will be down below in the description, and you copy that link, paste it into your browser after you've been logged out, directly make your new account underneath that. I would highly recommend using an email and not a Twitter because apparently you can use like Twitter, but make a new email and do it off that. Then what you do is you're like, okay, I made the account, I'm all logged in, fill out all your bank information, get approved, and during that process, email me your profile link, change your profile username, by the way, uh, that way it's like a, a new username, not the you blah 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 stuff. Send me an email with that link and then I'll check and see if it worked. And that's how the referral works, so hopefully that was helpful too. Today's video is going to be a lot more blunt, honest, harsh, uh, whatever you want to call it, because I have spent the last two years helping people grow theirs, helping people start and I have learned a lot so I think that let's just jump into the video I'm just gonna give you guys like a random tips and tricks um but I do want to say before we start OnlyFans or any type of online job you have to put in the time and work no one else is gonna do it for you and I think that's the thing that a lot of people think they think it's gonna be free money it's not a job blah 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 easy money whatever and some girls get lucky and they have a huge following before they start and then they don't have to work hard well I'm gonna tell you guys right now the amount of time that I put into my OnlyFans every single week is about 120 to 150 hours every single week on OnlyFans and I have two pages I have my free page my paid page so if you're someone that's looking to make easy money and you're not trying to make more than like $800 a week, then like maybe you can do that. Don't go into it expecting it to be easy. You can join under my referral and get some of my help and I'll have that down below written here and then you just email me and let me know that you used my referral. But I just wanna preface that before we keep going because I think that's something that like so many girls don't wanna put in the effort and the work and I have some amazing referral girls who like had no following, they made fully new social medias to promote and they're doing amazingly now and they're super happy with their hard work. So I just wanna like say that's something that is pretty common. You know, people go into it not wanting to work and then you get some girls that like know it's gonna be work and they put in that effort and they reap the benefits of it I just want to say OnlyFans has opened so many doors for me but um just understand that you have to put in the work if you really want to see it thrive 
So with that being said, um, I have two options and there's two things that people can do nowadays. There's a free page, which I did not start mine until April. So I have my free page and then my paid page. My paid page is like VIP, all access. Um, it literally has 600 plus videos unlocked on the feed and then uh, photo sets I post every single day, at least once a day. And I mass DM and I answer messages on there. So like my VIP page is definitely like the best bang for your buck. Anyone who's on there is like, oh my God, Sydney, like I did not expect all of this for $35 a month. I kind of think that you have to think, ask yourself like how do you want to run your page? Do you want it to be like that? Or you can run your page differently. You can have it for like $3 or $5 and they still have to pay to view most of their stuff. Or you can do a free page where everything has to be pay per view which is called PPV and you can pay to unlock it. And that's something that you know you want to decide before you start your page or if you're like struggling right now and you're like hmm I want to make an account under Sydney's referral. You can ask yourself that. So I have a girl who's under my referral who had no follow Following. she like before she started or anything she made a free page and then she just built herself up from there and she's doing great she is literally top 0.5% on OnlyFans which is insane because you know she was someone that you just most people are like I don't know if I could get there well she put blood sweat and tears into that she's thriving and I'm just so proud of her so I think the biggest thing is just like asking yourself that first question now the second thing that I think a lot of people struggle with is branding themselves they don't know how to be an internet personality I think the best thing and and the reason why people use OnlyFans is because OnlyFans is a personal connection. OnlyFans is real. OnlyFans is one-on-one. -on -one. I know that some girls pay people to like answer their messages, but like you can tell when there's like a rando like messaging people, if that makes sense. So I think that some of the like big celebrities probably have someone else answering their messages. They're too busy. Like they can pay someone to do it. But when you're like on OnlyFans and you're a new person, like you know that that person, they're like if they sub to your page, they're talking to you. You want to establish what you're going to be on the internet. Like what's your internet personality gonna be? I have been on the internet since I was 12. So obviously for me personally, I haven't had the opportunity to pick an internet personality and protect myself like other people. Um, I've kind of just thrown my shit show of a life out there and people have always seen it that way. So like I didn't have that opportunity, but I still branded myself. Like I was a fitness chick that went bad. Um, and that's kind of like my slogan. I'm now a BBW gone bad. Um, I'm still pretty innocent and fun and real and natural and like that's kind of my brand. Um, one of the girls under my referral, I asked her, I was like, yo, like what are you? And she's like, I'm a housewife. And I'm like, cool, that's what you are on the internet too. It fits her so well because she really is a housewife. She has like three kids at home, like she's living her best life, you know, and she loves doing it. And then I have another uh, person who her husband is a c so it works out for her as well. So just find your brand build yourself up i have an amazing referral girl named lily and she is this flower power personality and like i love it she's like positive and just like amazing you know and that's her personality on only fans and like you can tell that she has a special bond with her fans so i think that you just have to ask yourself what are you going to be on the internet because only fans is a true connection you don't want to be some fake person if that's not what you want to be like uh one of my friends her name's bella you guys may know her as bracy bella she has the bimbo vibe on her OnlyFans, which works so well for her. Personally, it's not really like my vibe. She has J cups, so she has like huge fake boobs and it works for her. So I think the biggest thing that you have to ask yourself is like, is this what I want to be on the internet? Is this gonna work for me? And if it doesn't work for you after like a couple months, maybe try something new, but just go into it knowing that like you can either be completely honestly yourself, you can be a different personality, you know, stick with it and be that personality so they get to know you as that person. So the next thing is called upselling and OnlyFans is a business just like anything else. And I think that's something that you have to ask yourself is what am I going to do to make more money? When you have a free page, you're going to upsell them on your pictures, your videos, talking to you, live streaming streaming costs money. So those are four basic things on a free page on OnlyFans that you can upsell them for. Then as well, your time. So if they're messaging you, you can tip, you can turn on to make them tip to message. And that's what I have on. It makes it so they're required to tip to message me. But that's something that for me, it makes it so that I'm, my time's valued. Like I get probably a thousand messages every single day, not including back and forth. Why would I want to spend my time answering people that are not respecting mine? 
So you can turn on your tip to message when you have a free page. Now, if you have a $3 page, you can basically have some pictures on your feed and then upsell for videos, personal conversation, full videos, like you can sell clips and videos, full photo sets as well as well as tipping on your lives for you to do anything. Those are some simple things you can do. Then you can get into bigger things like doing games, and if you're under my referral, I have a ton of ideas for like games you can do uh, to have more fun on your page. Like I love doing games because that's something for me that gets me excited, but it also gets my fans excited. Um, then you can do ratings on them, and that's on free, paid, or VIP. I always charge for ratings because that's something that's like above and beyond. Then I'm trying to think of there of the other things that you can upsell. Either way, you can upsell for a million different things. You're valued, you're worth the time. Figure out how you can upsell. It's just like a normal business. In a normal business, ask yourself this, you guys. What are they doing to upsell me? Take Victoria's Secret, for example. When you go to check out, what do they do? They try to get you to get the five for 28 panties. When you're on Adore Me, they try to sell you two pairs of panties. Uh, and then when you're on Fashion Nova, they try to suggest other things for you. When you're on Etsy, they try to do that. They always try to upsell you. What else happens? You get emails after you purchase something and they're telling you about a deal and stuff like that. That's called upselling. So when you're doing OnlyFans, it's a business. That's what you're gonna be doing. The next thing I wanna talk about is boundaries. Ask yourself, what am I comfortable with doing and what am I not comfortable with doing so for me personally I I am not comfortable I obviously don't do meetups and that's something that for me like you have to really earn my trust spoil me to get to that level so ask yourself what are your things that you're okay with and what you're not boundaries for me personally are I don't do race play that's something that a lot of people don't even know what it is when you get a race play custom you'll you'll understand what it is I don't do that I love to do customs though that's another way to upsell um, so I'm comfortable with basically getting to know my fans talking to them um, I also know that I need my own time if someone is getting a little bit too like owning me acting like they're like my boyfriend No one has the opportunity to tell me what I'm not gonna do and what I'm gonna do So if someone wants to I'm sorry, that's not me. Uh, that's a boundary for me I'm not gonna let you do that talking for free a lot of the time I don't do I don't take phone calls I don't do video chats and I do not do like Dropbox or anything like that So I think a lot of people need to understand that like whatever boundaries you have set if they don't respect it Then they can F off like seriously It's something that you've set for yourself that makes you feel better I took a phone call one time through my sex panther and like I'll do them occasionally But I felt so bad because he basically like got off and then he hung up on me and I just felt so used and I had to remind myself like this is my job like I'm I mean like I'm a normal person so sometimes it's kind of frustrating because like I forget that not everyone knows how like aftercare works so just ask yourself like what's gonna make you not feel used so I obviously like I'm not an escort or anything like that so like ask yourself what your boundaries are the next thing is also paperwork so this is something that like a lot of new girls don't understand when you're collaborating with someone and I'm just gonna go into collaborations I guess you always need to do paperwork take pictures of their IDs. Take a picture of them holding their ID right here. It's called a bunny ear and that's for verification that they're really there and that that's their ID that you like got in person a picture of. Uh, you sign paperwork. That's called a model release. You can look it up on the internet and find it. Uh, if you're under my referral, you'll get those model releases that I recommend using. You take the ID picture of just the ID, then the bunny ear. So those are three things that you need to submit to OnlyFans if they don't have an OnlyFans account. And then testing. So personally, STD testing is so important. People do not understand how rampant STDs are in like civilian world. And I'm gonna say civilian world because I do full blown Like I shoot full tapes. So I am considered talent, not civilian. And I just say that in like this, I say it, it sounds like military, it's not, but um, I say it because like you get normies and that's another for, form of like people that don't do um, But I get talent tested and tested every 14 days at least. So I'm always tested and I'm always ready to shoot. Testing's so important. Like even if you go to the clinic, if you're shooting with some random guy from Tinder, like make sure you're tested, make sure they're tested because STDs is like a huge issue. You never wanna get something and ruin your own reproductive like organs or anything like that. Um, I know that my personal life friends have gotten plenty of STDs. I've actually never had one and I'm very proud of that, but I also don't think it's something that you should be ashamed of if you get one. Um, but I do wanna make it clear that like in shooting content, you should get tested. It's very important to get tested and for talent in the real like 
world and people that work with other people you get tested even if it's clinic when you're working with people that are full professionals you get talent tested it's in a database and basically you prove that you've been uh negative for anything that's what happens when you collaborate with people the other thing too is when you're trying to work with other people you need to keep in mind that like everyone has their own thing everyone does their things differently add value to the table if you're working with someone else you want to make sure that you are doing your part so when i work with other people usually i provide the uh, cameraman and location and obviously myself I like to do that because then I have a witness there to make sure that nothing goes wrong and then also it just like makes it so I don't have to like go to them usually if I'm in another state like if I'm in Vegas or if I'm in LA or anything or Miami it makes it so I don't have to like go to all these new places um they just come to me so that's how I personally handle collaborations and I know that that's something that like a lot of girls have questions about if you're not comfortable collaborating yet that's totally fine um but hopefully that helps the people that are because paperwork's so important please paperwork that's something you need even if it doesn't seem sexy same with testing paperwork and testing is something you need even with tinder dudes so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful i am trying to be blunt and honest and real because i feel like i sugarcoat shit all the time but yeah, i'm done sugarcoating i'm so over it it's just not it's not beneficial to anyone uh if you are on only fans understand that percentage is better than followers and that's the last thing i'm going to end this video with if you already clicked down i'm sorry are you missing out but percentage is what you make income wise okay so if you're working with someone and you're doing a shout out for shout out and they have 5,000 followers on OnlyFans yet their percentage is 49% that is very bad I'm not saying it's bad to have that percentage but like income is ex is what your percentage is in the last 30 days so your 30 day income is what that percentage is based upon ladies don't give out all these free trials if you're gonna do that do a free page I have so many girls that I always have to harp on and say, you're asking me for my advice, yet you're not taking it. And then they're like, finally, a light bulb comes on. And they're like, oh, that makes so much sense to me. And I'm like, oh, great. I'm so glad it finally made sense. But keep in mind that free trials are not going to keep making you money when all your stuff is out on the internet on that feed for free for seven days so just have a free page if you're gonna do that um understand that followers do not mean income you need to be able to upsell them and get them to buy your stuff and i obviously love my only fans i feel like my fans are family which is kind of weird to say um but not everyone feels that way so i just like to give it a very generic like platform anyone that's on my only fans knows that i'm like more real and raw and like fun um i'm not as much of a like business person on mine i'm not trying to haggle respect is a big thing and understand that when you're trying to work with someone or when you're trying to reach your goals like biggest thing i would say is understand that fans don't mean income percentage is what you want to worry about if your percentage is going down so say you're at 40 percent and then you get to 20 percent that's good like you want your percentage to be as low as possible your follower count is not going to make you money unless your percentage is going down so please understand that when you're working with other girls you want to worry about that if you guys are new here and you guys are like cindy dang i learned so much in this video <laughs> Uh, well i'm so glad and if you are new or you're looking to make an only fans please make it under my referral you guys can email me as well at info at fitsid.com if you signed up under my referral just send me your profile link let me know and um yeah we can go from there either way you guys i love you so much i appreciate you if you guys are a fan and you got through this whole video and you're like dang i just learned sydney's ways on only fan i love you baby like you're amazing thank you for watching this video thank you for supporting me and if you are someone that you know is subscribed to my only fans i love you and i appreciate you and thank you for letting me get to this point in my uh journey and the opportunities you've given me and i hope that you've loved every single piece of content all 3,000 plus posts that i have made on there 600 plus videos and I just love you guys so much and I appreciate you and frick I just love you guys so I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week and just know that I am thinking of you and wishing you the best and um yeah bye guys